Hey guys, it is Bianca and for today's video I'm going to be doing a pack with me video because I am packing to go on spring break and I'm also going to be doing a little Q&A. So I'm not going to tell you guys where I'm going on vacation just yet, but I did ask you guys for questions on my Instagram, so I'm going to be answering those while I'm packing up. If you guys aren't following my Instagram, then make sure to follow it, it is linked in the description. Um, so that way you know like if I'll be doing another Q&A anytime soon or any other things about videos I'm going to be doing coming up or like anytime in the future and you'll stay updated on my posts and what videos I'm posting and all that kind of stuff. So let's just get into the video. <laughs> I got was what is your favorite color now honestly I feel like I don't even have a favorite color anymore like my favorite color for the longest time when I was a little kid was pink um then in like seventh grade I was like oh my god my favorite color is blue and I like bought everything blue like all the clothes in my whole bedroom like everything was blue I don't even know don't ask like now I like I kind of like the color yellow but like it's not my favorite color like I still like every other color so I don't like honestly I don't know what my favorite color would be next question it says what's your opinion on high school well hmm um honestly I think it sucks we're learning a million things that we are never gonna need ever again in our entire lives geometry bio like l social studies is just freaking useless okay let's get that right out the way english is even more useless like yes i love to read like don't get me wrong but like the stuff we're reading in english is useless and never going to be needed again in my whole life lunch and study hall literally are just a waste of my complete time like it's like i have 40 minutes of study hall then i have 40 minutes of lunch and i'm just sitting there for 80 minutes of my day when literally i could be at home sleeping or watching netflix or making a youtube video or doing literally anything else in the world besides sitting in school so, in my opinion, high school is the worst thing ever created. Um, I do think that we need to have school, but I think that by the time we get to high school, we should be able to choose what we need, what we want to learn. <coughs> the next question somebody asked, uh, wait, first, look, just look how cute this shirt is that I got. Like, it's a, look how cute it is. Look how cute it is. Okay. The next question is, what do you want to do when you're older? Now, I said this in my first video, but, like, you guys, like, that video sucked, so, um, I hope none of you go watch it. It's only there because I'm too lazy to delete it, but I said that I want to go into film, which is still true. I have big dreams. <laughs> I'd like to be a movie director, but, you know, that's kind of large dream, and it's not really a industry that women are big in. So, you know, I'm going to change that. I'm going to be a big time movie director. Also, I really love YouTube and I'm not YouTube famous, but it's so fun. So obviously I'm going to keep doing that for like a long time. If you could live anywhere, where would you pick? If I could live anywhere in the whole world, let me just tell you right now, it would not be where I'm living right now. I hate the winter. Obviously, you can tell because I'm wearing a summer shirt and it's still about 50 degrees outside. I hate the snow. I think it should just snow on Christmas and then be done. I would really love to just be tan every single day of my life for my whole life. But even with that said, one of the places I would really like to live is New York City. Because another thing that I don't like is I don't really like this rural... Is that the word? I don't even know. This, like, town kind of place that I live I want to be like in a city in like a busy place with like huge buildings skyscrapers like advertisements everywhere like traffic like I hate 
I actually don't hate traffic. I actually like traffic because then you can like bump to music in the car. Like you might be late, but like whatever, at least you're having fun on the way there. So actually I want to live in a city. So I either want to live in New York City, which is probably going to happen because that's more practical for who I am and where I live right now. Um, or I want to live in Los Angeles because that is where all the big time people are and I want to be big time. So I need to be where the big time people are. Really? Okay, everyone says that they hate packing, but I actually like it. Like, I'm kind of nervous that I'm going to forget some stuff, but like still, I'm kind of having fun. Next question. What's the craziest thing one of your teachers has done? Now, let me just say, I guess this isn't really like crazy, but my teachers, I've never had like a really crazy one. So this is craziest for me. I was in like, I was in ninth grade, actually this was last year. I was in ninth grade and one of my teachers there was like a wasp in the room and you know every class has that kid when there's a wasp in the room they freak out they're not even allergic to wasps they just have a heart attack and start going hologaloogie or whatever on this freaking like wasp so of course like half the class is those kids in my class so it's summer it's like basically almost the last day of school like it's the end of the year I have an itch on my boob. So it's the end of the year and my teacher is this little tiny short like four foot one woman. Okay, let me just tell you that. So she's this little short lady and she is like, she doesn't take any shit. Let me tell you that. But she just comes behind me like where I'm sitting like and takes a textbook because I sat like in front of this textbook rack. She takes a textbook and the wasp lands on the window. She takes a textbook textbook and wax it so hard the window broke and the textbook went flying through the window and let me just tell you it was the funniest thing i've ever seen in my life because this little lady who is so composed and so serious all the time was so embarrassed her face was bright red and she was like and all of us were dying there was glass everywhere the window was broken and then literally two seconds like two seconds after it breaks like the, the it breaks and everyone's like dead silent and then the bell rings and it was ninth period, so everyone's like leaving. But oh my god, let me just tell you, it was crazy. <clears throat> the next question is, what is a secret talent that you have? Um, I think I only have one. It's not like even a talent, it's just a weird thing that I can do, but I can do this with my tongue. I think that's it. The next question is, what is your most embarrassing moment? My most embarrassing moment wasn't even my fault. I was in about sixth grade I was in sixth grade and I'm just this little sixth grader like my first year in middle school I like for me I switched schools like I switched um in between fifth and sixth grade like where I would have been going to school so when I went to sixth grade I didn't go to the same middle school as all my friends so I didn't know like literally anyone so it's like the beginning of the year and a little Bianca goes up to the lunch line it's mozzarella stick day and I'm waiting in line and like they run out of the red sauce stuff What's that called? I don't know. So the lady goes back and she gets a brand new one. It's like piping hot. She gives me my lunch and it's good. And I'm going, I'm walking in the checkout line. And this huge buff football playing eighth grader is behind me. Now boys are dumb and they're reckless and they don't pay attention to anyone but themselves. Sorry, boys. So I'm just standing in line and this kid behind me is goofing off and he trips and spills his lunch all down the back of me. It is piping hot and my skin starts burning. And I'm like literally on the verge of tears, like at a split second. So then I walk up to the cashier lady and I was like, this kid just spilled his lunch on me. She goes, she gets me a wet, hot towel. What do you think it's gonna do? Not clean up the mess. Like, who are you and what do you think you're doing? Not your job. So she gives me this and I try like wiping it off my pants, but it's like all down my back. So at this point, none of my friends or like, people I was sitting with, they didn't know what like what was going on. So then I just like left the lunchroom and went to get my stuff. And at this point, I'm like full on crying. Like I'm so embarrassed. And then I go back to the lunchroom and like, I only thought that it was on my pants, like the back of my pants. But then I get to the lunchroom and one of the lunch aides tells me it's all down the back of my like sweatshirt too. Then I'm like calling my mom. I'm like, oh my God, you have to come pick me up. This kid just spilled his lunch on me. And let me tell you, it was also in my shoes. I was wearing bear paws. It was inside. So my mom gets to school and I just walk up to her and I start bawling. 
bawling. It was the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to me in my life. I had to walk out of school with mozzarella stick sauce all over the backside of me. Embarrassed. The next question, what's your favorite song? I don't have one favorite song, but Khalid's new album, oh, so good. I literally cannot say enough, tell you enough how great I think it is. It's amazing. My favorite album on the face of the earth now. And you, you bet I have been listening to it on repeat since it came out. I feel like I'm forgetting literally everything because I have like, I have, I don't, I can't pack everything up because like I'm leaving on Monday and it's like Wednesday right now. So I can't pack everything because I still need some things for like my life. But I feel like I'm forgetting everything. The last question is, when did you last go on vacation? So the last time I believe I went on vacation was when I was in seventh grade and me and Natalie and her dad and her little sister went to Alabama, Gulf Shores, Alabama, and it was so fun. Literally we had the time of our lives. Okay guys, that's all I have for today's video. Um, Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. I post videos every Saturday. Mm -hmm.